everybody, it's your crazy fango shiny. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. So today is the Game Awards, and I'm going to be watching it and live reacting to it as it is live streaming. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to live stream yet. I'm still learning how to, so I thought I'd just, like I did with the Square Enix conference this year, I thought I'd film my reaction and then upload it when it's done. Um, and I did decide to kind of get a little ready, did my makeup really nicely, and I'm so excited to be reacting. Um, so many amazing games this year so many amazing performances and just the games that are coming out are amazing um i voted as well but i will reveal my votes a little later but um i do have high hopes for a few of the games yeah let's just jump right into reacting because it literally is just about to start at the game awards to shine our spotlight on games big and small look forward to seeing some more interesting indies later tonight this next Game Awards category also demonstrates this kind of diversity in gaming. The nominees represent completely different budgets, nationalities, and genres, but they all share one thing. Excellent music. Here Ooh. are the nominees for Best Score in Music. Cadence of Hyrule. Oh! Why are they showing this now? Do it during the actual show! Devil May Cry 5. Kingdom Hearts 3. Woo! Ooh, it's either for me, it's either Death Stranding or Kingdom Hearts. Is... Come on. Death Stranding. Yay! <laughs> yes! Ludwig! Yes. What is going on? I don't know what to do. I like your colors. Oh my gosh, thank yeah. you so much. I like your colors as well. How are you feeling? I, I, I've been nervous this whole week and I can't believe this is happening right now. <laughs> I just want to say. Uh, big thanks and shout out and also a congratulations to Low Roar, Churches and Silent Poets for helping us making this soundtrack as Yeah, versatile. amazing music. For the past two evenings, yeah, he, he deserved that. The music of Death Stranding is so good. To fill our imagination with oh god. What? I don't understand the point of this. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Well, there are some people who like it, I guess. <laughs> but now, I think it's time for another world premiere. Here is a brand new trailer for one of next year's most anticipated Final Fantasy. games, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's do it! Yes! Hell yeah! That's what everyone's waiting for. Look, I'm involved in things. Things. Ooh. So? So keep Earth. your distance. What was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strike. This is a one time gig. When it's done, we're done. Come on. Nobody do something this crazy just for money. Uh, you'd be surprised. Stand there and pretend you can't hit a plan. about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Oof. Can't wait to play this game. Looks so good. Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> you weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Hell yeah, Tifa! I made a promise, so... Oh, Sephiroth. <sighs> Chills. Oh, getting goosebumps. Ooh. Yeah, much. <laughs> do, do, do. I don't know why, I'm just thinking of God of War so much, just because I think, like, because I rewatched them winning last time. And I've got the theme stuck in my head. <laughs> oh, it's starting. <gasps> oh! Churches! She's dressed like Higgs. Yes! Now, please welcome your host and the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keeley. Yay! I'm 
Jeff Keighley. It's such an honor to be here. You guys ready to celebrate video games tonight? Yeah! You guys have a lot of expectations on the internet for things. There are lots of rumors, lots of leaks. And mm -hmm. then sometimes there's surprises that come out of nowhere. Enjoy this. What is it? What is this? Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. What? And Oof, you the graphics! You began on this adventure of dreams, fulfill all your wishes. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. And then you will get more and more adventures. Oh. Further and further out gambles like what? to what you would dream. Oh, hello. Oh, is this the new, um, where you are now? The new Xbox? I think it's like the Sierra Project or something. I can't remember. Wait, what? That's the Xbox? Or is it the speaker? That's the new Xbox. Holiday 20. Oh, yeah! Wow! Maybe I might buy it if I have money. And now, he's the head of Xbox. Please welcome. Oh, there's. I'm proud to reveal a project early in development from an incredibly talented, creative team who are no strangers to the Game Awards. What you were about to see was all captured in-engine as being built to take full advantage of Xbox Series X. Ooh, what is it? I'm excited. What is it? Ninja Theory. Oh, is it Ghost? The teaser came out kind of like a few days ago, when State of Play was happening. Is this Ghost? Or is it something else? Looks like Death Stranding. Yeah, it looks like Death Stranding. Is it Death Stranding? <laughs> oh! It's beautiful. Oof. Wait, Star Wars? I don't know, I got like a... No, probably not Star Wars. Oh god. What? Oh, this looks creepy but cool. Look at the graphics. Jeez, the graphics look amazing. What is it? Sin Saga Hell. Oh, Hellblade! Nice. That looks really good. Award for best performance awarded to an individual for voiceover, acting, motion, and. Why are you doing this now? Ashley Birch for The Outer Worlds, Courtney Hope for Control, I voted for Mads Mikkelsen. Mads Mikkelsen. I love Laura Bailey though, it was hard. Matthew Peretta for Control, and Norman Reedus for Death Stranding. 
Who is it? Yes! Yay! Very well deserving. A lot of you around the world uh, voted tournament style to pick your favorite game. This was 100% in control of the fans. Okay, I'm just going to put on mute for a second. But why did they do that? Why didn't they, like, actually present it just normally? That's the one thing I don't like with these some of the awards that they present. They don't, like, um, award it to the actual person sometimes, which is quite annoying. But, um, yeah. Especially for this one, like, the best acting one. That's a bit annoying. Oh, <gasps> Telltale! They're back! Please welcome Ashley. Ashley! Ashley! Yay! She's so pretty! Yes, Queen. Hello, Death Stranding, come on. I really wanted them to win. I love that game. Oh, look at nobody so happy! I really want to thank a lot of people uh, started the ship going. Uh, Sony started out with us, uh, and also Guerrilla for um, providing the game engine. Yeah, amazing and, uh, game engine. It was a small boat, but all the cast came on board. The musicians, the artists, the people who collaborated, thank you so much. And also, the small boat was all the staff uh, came to work together. I would really like to thank them. And also um, uh, uh, my family, uh, and best of all, uh, the fans who waited four years. Thank you so much. Woo! Congratulations, Kojima! Yay! Very well deserving. I feel like he deserved that award entirely. One of my uh, friends for life, Vin Diesel. Yay! Aww. Oh, they're going to play the Death Stranding music as well. I'm excited. Yay! Smash Bros was one of the nominees. That's so cool. I love the transition. It's awesome. Oh wait, was Gears 5 nominated for Game of the Year? I thought they were. Oh, and no, it's freezing! No, don't glitch now! And the Game of the Year award goes to Second row. Oh! I wanted Death Stranding to win! But good on them. I don't think anybody expected that, in all honesty. But good on them. That's very surprising because I don't think they won a lot of other awards during the ceremony, but congrats to them. That's great. Would have liked Death Stranding to win though. Good on them. I think Best Direction was very like, like towards um, Kojima because he definitely directed that game so well. Alright guys, well that's going to do it for the Game Awards 2019. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next December to keep celebrating games. Have a great night. Thank you very much. Good night everybody. Nice. Thank you. Wow, it's already finished. I will say that this Game Awards
awards wasn't as exciting as last year's. I guess because all the big announcements for all the games has already been obviously made. Um, because I thought that we would see more, like, not AAA, but more of the, um, well, I thought that I'd see more of Kingdom Hearts or something like that. But it's understandable because a lot of them were obviously shown in the state of play. That was obviously a few days ago. Um... Which is understandable. And I also wanted to say, like, I didn't know someone released that trailer earlier instead of, like, keeping it a secret. Because it was only supposed to come out when State of Play was happening. And then the trailer was supposed to come out. But someone at Square Enix released it, like, so early. And I didn't realise that until, like, after. And I was like, do I delete my reaction or keep it up? So I was like, if it go, if so, if they delete it, then fair enough. Like, it's fine. I can just re-upload my reaction when the trailer comes out. But, um... Funnily enough, nothing happened, so I was like, okay, I'll just keep it up, and I'll see what happens, and then, yeah, it was fine. Um, but anyway, I did expect the f like, I don't know, I think, like, I expected more, but it wasn't as exciting as last year, because last year, obviously, we had, like, different teasers, obviously, for Death Stranding, and then we had different teasers for, obviously, the games that came out this year. But, um, obviously, the big trailers have come out, and, for example, like, Naughty Dog wouldn't have released another trailer for The Last of Us because of the fact that they only recently announced that they did move the um, release date a bit back into May, which is perfectly okay. But Naughty Dog never released another trailer unless they're happy with what they've got. Um, so, of course, that's fine. And most of the games that I did see were just mostly unknown, and most of them were new. So, I will go back and have a look and maybe even try and look at a few, because there were a few that kind of piqued my interest. So, I'm definitely looking at... Ex so I'm definitely looking forward to having a go and going back and having a watch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the Game Awards. I was happy with... Most of the awards, like, the, the main ones that I was worried about was Mads Mikkelsen. Like, I really wanted him to win because, oh, his role as Cliff is amazing. I won't give spoilers away for Death Stranding, but oh my god, he was amazing as Cliff. And I could sit here and talk about him for hours, so I won't. Um, and, again... I voted a lot for Death Stranding and I voted them for music so they won that and then they won Mads Mikkelsen and then obviously Best Direction. Like obviously I would have liked them to win Best Game of the Year as well but unfortunately it didn't and that's perfectly okay but Best Direction was definitely Kojima's. He definitely deserved it. He worked so hard on this game and though it isn't for everybody I definitely believe that he like deserved it, especially with the message he was sending out with this game. But I will get more into that when my review comes out, which is coming out soon, so keep an eye on that. But again, I was surprised though, I will say quickly, that Gears 5 didn't win anything. And the fact that they weren't even nominated for Best Game of the Year. But I'm guessing, obviously, Super Smash Bros and stuff was a lot better. Um, but yeah, hopefully it does get... There are a few other Game Awards, like probably smaller Game Awards. I hope that Gears 5 win a few of them because I think they deserve it as well because a lot of effort goes into these games and everybody deserves like the recognition that they get and all like the praise that they get because these games are just incredible. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, Fangirl, out.